Hey guys, it's TK with TK Tech News, and you knew we were going to do this. We're going to show you guys how to root uh, your device, your Sony Xperia Z2. Uh, but basically what this is going to show, the first thing you need to do, obviously, is unlock the bootloader. Now, I will have to preface this. Let's make sure that you understand that unlocking the bootloader on the Z2 is not like the Z1 um, or past Xperia. There currently is no way to back up your TA partition or your keys, uh, your DRM keys. You are going to lose those. There has been some mixed saying uh, statements that say that X Reality still works, um, Sony Unlimited still works. We're going to see. We're going to put it on video and find out if it really works and if it doesn't work. And that's going to be it. So this is just part one showing you guys where we're at. And you can see we're at unlockbootloader.sonymobile.com um, to go ahead and get the respective unlock bin code that we're going to need to unlock the bootloader. All right, guys, so you can see here I got my bootloader key. Let's see if I get this to zoom a little better. I got my bootloader key, and the next step is putting the phone in fast boot mode. And you will do that by having your phone completely off, holding the volume up button, and plugging it into your computer. Once the phone um, is set up, you should get... Let me see if I can get the light to turn off here. I'm actually shooting with a light. You'll see a blue light. You can see it barely here. A blue light up here at the top. It lets you know that you're in fast boot mode and connected to the computer. Um, then you're just going to follow the instructions that are right here from the unlock uh, bootloader site on sonymobile.com. We're going to go through that here in a second and we're going to start this back up and walk you through the next step. Alright guys, the next process, and I'm sorry guys, I'm actually holding this camera while I'm trying to do this for you guys. Um, the next process is you have to open a command prompt window in your Android SDK platform folder. Um, if you don't know what that is, <laughs> this is probably not for you. This is not an easy route. This is a little bit more of an advanced route. So I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. And then the next thing we need to do, guys, so I can straighten up the screen here so you can see this a little bit better, is I'm going to... Follow the instructions here, and it says basically go fast boot exe. I'm going to take this command, control C, and I'm going to paste it uh, into my command window so there's no question. All right, so you can see I got basically it says you want to put this in and verify that you get a response back. For example, it says 03. You can see I got a response back that says 05. That lets you know that you're connected to Fastboot properly and you are connected to do the next part. Now, I'm going to read this. Warning, if you perform this next step, you will unlock the bootloader. This may void your warranty and, and or any warranty from your operator. If you still want to unlock the bootloader of your device, enter Fastboot EXE, blah, 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 and put the key in. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to copy and paste this up to that X. Control C, and I'm going to paste here, paste, and then I have to put in my key. Now what I'm going to do from that point is, I'm going to, hold on guys, copy, Control C, and go back into my command prompt, and paste from there, and I'm copying and pasting the key now. Uh, from that point there. So there you can see I have the key that I copy and pasted from the email in, in here. I'm going to click enter and it should tell me that my bootloader is unlocked. Finished. The bootloader is now unlocked. I'm going to click continue. And that's it guys. Now that the bootloader is unlocked, this is going through the same process to tell us what the what to do as before. Um, the next thing to do is if you want to root the phone is you want to go over to do to the Doom Lord kernel. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And you can see here it says you need working fast boot, which we have right now. An Android app for overclocking, blah 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 blah. How to install my install my kernel via recovery recommended. Download the kernel package, save it to the SD card, reboot into recovery. Flash the kernel package using recovery, reboot from recovery into system, and uh, the device should now start booting. Enjoy the kernel. Uh, that's going to root your device. The next thing you need to do, though, is actually um, install a custom recovery. We're going to get to that in the next part. 
One process here I didn't get to show you guys. I did a fast boot, uh, fastboot.exe reboot, which is basically wiping everything from the phone at this point, which will then allow me to go back into fastboot and flash the respective um, recovery. So I wanted to make sure that you see this so people don't freak out if they see it. I wanted to add this to the video. And now my device actually should reboot, which it looks like it's going to do now. And it's going to be rebooted from stock. And that will be it. There you go. Bootloader unlocked. No issues. Uh, it is going to reboot fully stock like it's never been uh, booted before. It wipes everything. Pictures, software programs. You can see I pulled my 128 gigabyte SD out. Uh, to make sure I didn't lose my data because it will wipe your SD card as well. So I'm going to let this thing go ahead and get finished booting and then we're going to check and just see if X Reality is on there before I get into the flash and the recovery part now that the bootloader is unlocked. Alright guys, this should solve the X Reality issue of people asking if it's actually broken or what the situation is with that. Um, here, I'm going to go ahead and just open up the video. I'm going to go to display and X reality for mobile is checked. I'm not having an issue. Let me uncheck it. Let me check it again. I'm not having an issue with X reality for mobile. So there you go. I wanted to add this in there because a lot of people have put out information that it doesn't work. You can't check it or it's grayed out. On my in my case, it's not. And my bootloader is unlocked as we just showed. So um, hmm, I don't know. Now it's time to get to uh, flashing the custom recovery and rooting, but this should answer that question for anybody that wants to know if unlocking the bootloader breaks X reality by losing the DRM keys. I'm not seeing it. All right, guys, the next part of this is turning the device back off, getting back into fast boot yet again. Uh, you can do that by turning the device off and then holding the volume button up and plugging your device into the computer. You're going to get into fast boot and then you're going to flash the boot image from doom lord so for an example when you download uh the zip file from xda we'll put a link in the description you're going to get a uh, doom lord advanced whatever zip okay you're going to get a boot image what you do from that point is just cut it um, from there go to your folder that has your android adb all your respective uh, fast boot stuff and paste it there. You see, I have it in, in here. Once you have it in here, um, the next part is pretty simple. You go back to the um, command prompt and just type in fast boot flash boot boot.img. It's going to flash that recovery and whatnot, and then type in fast boot reboot. And then as it is rebooting, like mine is now, I'm going to press the volume up. And you keep pressing the volume up key um, as it is changing in colors up at the top. And you will boot into Clockwork Mod, as you see here. The first thing I'm going to tell you to do once you get in here is make a backup. And that's what I'm going to be doing right now. Back up to SD card. Uh, yes. So you can see I'm doing a backup now. Once this thing finishes doing its backup, I will be back and we'll get into um, flashing root, which will be coming next. All right, guys, the next step in this process, obviously, is rooting the device. Um, we're going to do that by flashing a super user zip in recovery. Uh, but what we're going to have to do now is instead of mounting, because I've, I've heard there's been issues with mounting. I'll try it from here first. Let's see here. Go back, mounts and storage. Nope, it won't let you mount the storage, and that's fine. We're going to go ahead and reboot system now. Oh, it asks you if you want to root the device right here from recovery. So let's go ahead and say yes. And if it's going to root the device this way, that's great. Um, that keeps you from having to go through a flashing super user zip. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and include it in the file anyway. So you can copy it to the, to the phone and flash it in recovery in the event you have any issues. I'm going to let this boot and we're going to see if root is actually here. And all I did, guys, was use Doom Lord's Clockwork Mod Kernel. I'm actually going to 
get the Doom Lord version 4 kernel uh, onto my SD card here in a little bit so I can overclock and do some of that other fun stuff with the phone. So let's see here. I am not seeing super user at all, which was what I thought. So we're going to go ahead and open the folder for the Xperia Z2. And we're going to basically drag the zip into that folder. Ah, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to shrink the page just a little bit so I could pull it up. There we go. I wanted to grab this so I could drag it and drop it onto the phone. I don't know if it's going to let me do that. We're going to try that again. Actually, let me show it in the folder. That always works a little better. Now I can drag it over onto the phone. Boom. And I want one more of these folders, or these files. And that's the Doom Lord, Doom Lord kernel. I'm going to minimize this whole thing now. I'm going to drag that over to the device. Now I can close this out. And I should also be able to um, eject my device. So what I'm going to do at this point, hold on one second guys, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to unplug my Xperia from the computer, which should have, let's see here, which should have those files inside. And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to turn it off. I'm in a little low light condition guys, and I know I'm shooting this video today with the Nokia Lumia uh, icon. So I'm a little disappointed on the, in the camera quality. I know it's changing lighting conditions, looking at a display and not looking at a display. So I'm gonna cut it some slack. All right, so the next thing you wanna do is power your device on. And then just keep pressing the power up button. You're gonna see the different colors pop at the top of your display. Just keep pressing it off, on, off, you know, just up and down, you know, up, 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 up. And there you go, you boot into recovery. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna install the zip. Choose zip from SD card. Oh. And if you look down here at the bottom, I have update super user zip. I'm gonna select that, install it. There we go. From this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a reboot. And we're gonna verify that the device is rooted. So we've unlocked the bootloader and we've rooted the device. And now we can use apps that require root. I will flash that kernel here in a little bit as well. I'm going to do some performance tests with this original kernel. And then I'm going to do some performance tests with uh, ver Doom Lord version 4's kernel. But first, let's go ahead and verify. And Android is upgrading. That means, usually means it's rooted. So let's go ahead and swipe this over. Let's go ahead and check and see if we have, we do, we have super user. That's it, guys. It's really that simple. Um, unlock the bootloader, set it up, follow the instructions to the T that Sony gives you on the site. All the links will be in the description to the respective pages, files, and folders below. Uh, thanks to Doom Lord and for the Doom Lord kernel and the free Xperia team that does all of the actual development work uh, to make this part possible. Until next time, guys, TK with TK Tech News. Thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned for all of our upcoming coverage on the Xperia Z2.